wait till the ring announced the center.
Teddy Conquest, first fight back on the comeback trail after he was surprisingly lost his unbeaten record to Rotherham's Neil Dawson in December. And Kevin, it's going to be difficult for Tony tonight to come back from such a sh shattering defeat. Yeah, I mean, you can call it a shock defeat. I think Tony uh, will be the nice right hand there from Tony to start with. I think Tony will admit that it was a shock defeat in Moses Corner. Lovely one two there from Tony. But he's been out for a little while. That was December last year when he got a lovely shot to the body there. Looking really tidy already, Tony. I don't think this is going to go very long. What a comeback. Absolutely. Nothing for Chena here. Absolutely nothing. Chena hurts to the body and can't get out of the way of these, these attacks. Looking very sharp, like he's got something to prove Conquest, that's why I expect him to come back. He has been stopped before in the amateurs against Leon Williams and he proved that he can come back from a loss like that and he stopped Leon Williams in the pro ranks. So he proved he can come back. Fighters lose fights sometimes, you know, at cruiser weights, you know, they're heavy guys throwing shots. So I don't think you can be reading too much into that, that defeat. He got caught with, with a good shot. And unfortunately he lost his WBO international title, but he's come back looking really, really tight here. Conquest was all over the chain about 30 seconds ago. What looked like he, the chain wouldn't get through the round. Oh, oh lovely oh, shot. Oh, oh, huge body shot. Oh, oh, what a shot. Well, if there's people questioning about how Tony Conquest is going to be out after that shock defeat, I think he's answered it just there. And I know he's got a fight scheduled with Wally Camacho, and I've seen Wally Camacho at ringside here today as well. I've seen him already in the thing, so that'll be a very, very interesting fight. I like I mean, Conquest. Yeah. I think he's a very, very good operator. Uh, I think it was just that. I think it was a shock defeat against Neil Dawson. I think he got caught. I don't think too much can be read into that. He's got a great camp behind him in Jason Rowland and Richard Clark. Look exceptionally well. Like I said, if we wonder how he's going to come back, that's how he's going to come back. That was a fantastic response from Tony. And then which, which way? Yeah, so looking very, very good. So work to the body very nicely there. Last one, two to the head, and then working the body very nicely. And it was the body shots that only ended the, ended the fight for him. Camacho's on the seat, has some success in prize fights. Uh, I mean, how do you see the fight going? It's, a, it's an interesting one. It's a very interesting one. I'm, I'm lucky enough to know both fighters. Uh, they're both talented. They're both on a collision course for each other. And I know that they're obviously Wally Camacho fights under the, the matchroom banner and obviously former prize fighter winner. And I know, let's go to the, the, the announcer just to get the uh, confirmation. Conquest and, and Camacho, so I think it'll be a very, 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 very 50 50 fight. If I was forced to go one way or the other, I would lean more towards Conquest. I've seen more of Tony, and that's probably why I've seen more of Tony, uh, but I do think he's a very, very class operator. And even the Dawson fight, he was easily winning the round before he got caught, um, and I think it was just one shot. Other than that, he's a very quality operator. I'm sure Tony's handlers and his trainers will be saying to him not to worry, put the Dawson defeat behind him and, and yeah, to try and build his confidence, but there's no greater confidence builder in terms of what Compass has just done there himself. Well, you can't work backwards, you can only work forwards, and as much as the Dawson fight may plan his head and will haunt him for the rest of his life, maybe, he can't do nothing about it now, it's behind him, and, and to be honest with you, he looks like today, I see him uh, beforehand when we were setting up Ben and he looked very very calm and comfortable he looks excellent when he got in there so it looks like it hasn't had too much of a of an effect on him but it's good that he's got it out of the way now and he, he's finished it off and he can move forward from now <laughs>